Race two at Sandown on Saturday, 1,000 metres for the Coral Charge. It is a group sprint. It's attracted a field of 10. And these are they, just picking out a couple of them. The top rated in there is Arecibo, second at Royal Ascot. Also have a little look at Lazuli in there, rating 112. We'll be talking about him in a moment or two's time. But your initial thoughts on the field of what we've got? Arecibo is the key horse because mm. he's the highest rated horse in the race. That rating comes from his most recent performance. But is it for real? He came home really strongly, a career best effort in the Kingstown Stakes, but that was an unusual race tactically. As you know, Nick, they went a million yes. miles an hour. That's perfect for Arecibo. I'm not sure that Saturday's race sets up quite so perfectly for him. I did worry a little bit. He was only rated 104 at Royal Ascot, but the retrospective hit is nine pounds. He's now 113. Let's have a look at Lazuli. I'll stick with you, Graham. Lazuli, Lazuli, I'm never too sure exactly what it is, but we were in here, of course, previewing 2000 Guineas Day at Newmarket. This was the Palace House Stakes, one of the races previewed, and it was Lazuli who came out on top. Absolutely, um, and three friends reunite here, and the two who chased home um, Lazuli on this occasion came from the dark and Arecibo had excuses to major and minor degrees. Uh, Arecibo was certainly squeezed at a crucial point, came for the dark, had to wait for a run. But what's not to like about a horse like Lazuli? He's very straightforward, he's got a very good record at Sandown. I think he defied a small penalty here, he has a small penalty again this weekend. Uh, but he's very, very progressive. As you can see, the grey horse in the shoe colours, the shoe family colours, just finds trouble getting a run. Arecibo has already been squeezed. Lazuli doesn't hang around to take advantage. Three closely matched horses, John. How does it shake down this weekend? Uh, I think Lazuli have confirmed the form, Graham, because in the Palace House, they went a pretty strong gallop there. As you said, they went an even stronger gallop than the King's Stand, which definitely helped Arecibo. Came from the dark, was unlucky. But here, uh, in, the, uh, in the charge on Saturday, there's only really a Tarlis Bay who really wants to go forward. Now, it's a five furlong race. They'll go pretty quick. But I think Lazuli will just uh, be off the back of that speed. The other two, I think, do need that strong gallop to be seen at their best. And I think Lazuli might be uh, in, a, in a good place to fend them off. Let's have a look at Atalis Bay. Recently at Sandown, within the month of June, this was the horse winning the Scurry Stakes. He put up a good performance the time before when chasing home a rattling quick horse at York. And in doing this, winning the Scurry, and then going on to do this, uh, going on to this assignment on Saturday, he's looking to emulate Batash, who did it a few years ago. Yeah, he's not as good as Batash, no. but he's quick and he's progressive. And some would say he's from the right age group. The three-year-olds, I think, have won seven of the last ten renewals. Yep. That's not a stat that I'm going to uh, really uh, cleave to but he's bang in form, Sandown's a plus for him. But I think on most ratings, John, whether you look BHA, Racing Post ratings, time form ratings, they'll all give him at least a couple of lengths to find. Seven or eight pounds more improvement needed if he's to win this weekend. Yeah, he does require that, but he's the almost certain leader. They don't bet on these things, but with about two and a half furlongs to go, he'll be in front. Just a question of uh, can others get past him. I think one or two will, but he's in the numbers. Right, let's have a quick look at Arecibo and what he did at Newmarket over on the Rolly Mile course back in May. I was lucky enough to be here this day. There were six runners, Graham, four of them trained by Robert Cowell, and I think he was quite pleased with this result. One, two, three, four for the yard. Yeah, hats off to Robert. They call him the Spring King, and, and Arecibo is one of his masterpieces so far. Just I think bit. he'd lost 20 in a row before he came to Robert. He is... Uh, a revelation nowadays, but he does need a certain set of conditions. He needs holding up, perfect ride for Jay Spencer. Yep. He needs a very strong gallop and he needs leaders to be faltering late. That's where he got, he got here on testing ground. He handles fast ground, no problem, as he showed at Royal Ascot. But tactically, John, I could see Arecibo coming strong and late, uh, but having some strong rivals ahead of him when he does. Yeah, I think so. I called this race that day at Newmarket. For about two and a half furlongs to go, I thought Arecibo was going to win this because the first couple in the uh, on the speed map there went far too quick uh, and he just absolutely cruised into it and won nicely. Uh, yeah, I, I I would say he's, he's the lay of the, uh, of the meeting for me because I think he will just not get that race set up. And as Nick was saying before, I think his King Stan stakes has been a bit overrated. Wow. I didn't necessarily think we were going to be saying that about Arecibo, but it's time to, well, the talking time for, well, the time for talking is over. It's time now to say who your selections are. Yeah, we, I think we've talked about the main contenders. I'm going to go with Lazuli. He's been a good friend to me so far. Uh, Arecibo to come picking up pieces for a place. Atalis Bear, I, I think John's dead right tactically. He should be bang in the mix. And Stone of Destiny is another horse who I think can run yes. well at a price. He's been unlucky in one or two big races of late, and uh, he's a hold-up horse. He needs the brakes but I think he can get a piece of it. John, you're one, two, three, four. I think I can take it from what we've just heard. It won't be number three, Arecibo up top. 
Well, I like Arecibo, and uh, as I say, he did uh, did me a decent turn each way in the King Stand, but uh, he's not going to get that sort of setup today. Lazuli, I thought, was a really good run at Newmarket. He's done really well thus far in his career, and he'll just sit off the pace set by Atalus Ben. I think he'll be too strong. Came from the dark, was unlucky in the Palace House Stakes. I was a bit uh, disappointed they didn't go to Royal Ascot with that horse, but I think this is ideal for him. He'll not be too far away. Look out for Ainsdale, ran pretty well in the chip chase mm. stakes. Back to five furlongs, I think he'll go all right as well. Okay, that was the Coral Charge, fast and furious race two at Sandown.